Okay, so for part A, we have um, cesium-137 um, as a uh, 150 milligram sample that we're starting with. So this is what we can do is we can call this um, why not or the initial sample. And um, the half-life they claim is 30 years. So it takes 30 years for it to reach 75 milligrams or basically one half of the original sample. So this is just going to be equal to LN2 over lambda, where lambda is the decay constant. And what this turns into is lambda is equal to LN2 over 30, over 30 years. Okay, so the formula for um, finding how much decays over a certain time is, um, let's just use the language they use N conventionally, but it's Y of T. So the sample at some time is equal to the initial sample times some exponential decay of negative lambda T. So it's just going to be 150 e to the negative um, t ln2 over 30. OK, and this is this is all in the exponential. All right, so that will be your answer for part A. For part B, it's saying um, how much of the original sample after 120 years is remaining. So what we're going to do is we're going to say um, we're just going to plug 120 years into T. So we're going to get Y of T equals 120 is equal to 150 E to the negative um, 120 over 30 times LN2. So it's just basically negative 4 LN2 in the exponent. And you should get 9.375 grams remaining after 120 years. Now, the question is asking how much of it is remaining. So you're just gonna, you're just gonna take 3.7, 9.375 divided by the original amount. Um, and that will be 6.25% 6, of the original of the original sample okay and that makes sense because if the half-life is if it gets down to 50 percent after 30 years then after 120 years it's going to exponentially decay more into something very small so this this makes physical sense okay for part c we have um how long will one milligram how long in, will it take for one milligram to remain? So it's basically saying Y of T, Y after some time will be one milligram. Okay, so what we do is we can go ahead and say, all right, well, we have our equation, which is um, Y of T is equal to Y naught E to the negative lambda T. So you'll this will become ln of y of t over y naught is equal to um, negative lambda t after a simple algebraic operation. And then the time will just be um, negative 1 over lambda. Um, uh, let me make that negative a little more clear negative one over lambda ln yt over y naught. And that's just going to be, um, you should be getting, if you're plugging in your numbers right, this is just going to be negative 30 over ln2 times, times ln of 1 over 150. And you should get something along the lines of uh, 216.86 years.